The Little Island by Smarty Prashadam Hall and Robert Starling. There was once a farm where all the animals were friends. They worked hard and each was at liberty to live and work where they chose. Together, they looked after the farm and each other. It wasn't perfect and they didn't always agree. Animals almost never do. But they liked it. The ducks and geese lived on a pond at the edge of the farm. They waddled about on a little island of soft, sunny slopes, lush green reeds, and golden fruit trees. One day, the geese began to gossip. Soon, they were in a flap. Why do the animals always come to our part of the farm so often? Honked when. There really isn't any room for anyone here. Honked another. No one listens to us. We aren't safe. They groused and they grumbled late into the night. The next night, the geese called a meeting. Our land was once a green and pleasant land they declared to the ducks. The apples were much redder. The grass was much greener. The sun was much warmer and the food tasted better. Now it's too busy. We should leave the rest of the farm and live on our own, just as we please. The ducks thought this was a dreadful idea. They loved living and working together with the other animals, but there were more geese than ducks. And so the geese peck, peck, pecked away until there was no longer a footbridge to the island. The animals on the rest of the farm looked on sadly. Then they shook their heads, bid farewell to their dear old friends, and went back to work. At first, nothing much changed. The sun shone, the bees buzzed, and life was good. But very soon, the ducks and geese found they had to work harder, much harder. There were so many jobs to do now. Mending, fixing, building, cleaning, chopping, cooking. The geese had not noticed how helpful the other animals had been. Animals almost never do. Summer came and the grass grew tall and green, just as the geese remembered. But without the sheep and cows grazing, it soon scorched and withered in the sun. We mustn't complain, grumbled the geese tails dropping. At least we're happy. Autumn came and the fruit trees were full, but without the help of the horses and goats to gather the harvest, the geese went hungry. We mustn't complain, grumbled the geese, tummies rumbling. At least we are happy. Winter came and the animals on the farm huddled together cozily to keep warm. But without their old friends, the geese were cold. Oh, we mustn't complain, grumbled the geese, beaks chattering. At least we are happy. The next year was hard. The following year was harder. And the year after that? The foxes came. The foxes looked slyly at the little island. No roosters to raise the alarm. No pigs to make trouble. No cows to chase them away. Dinner time. It was perfect, the foxes agreed, which animals almost never do. They liked it. At dead of night, silently, speedily, they surveyed the island. Silently, steadily, they slunk into the water. 
Silently, swiftly, they swam across the pond. Silently, sneakily, they stole onto island. Silently, soundlessly. Yes, you get the picture. Feet flapped and feathers flew. Help! Help! Shrieked the geese. And the ducks in terror, save us! The animals on the farm rushed to the water's edge. But alas, there was no footbridge to reach the island. And so the farm animals did something that animals never almost do. They bellowed and yelled all night long until the foxes, who, as we know, prefer to work in silence, slid away into the night. In the morning, the ducks and the geese wanted to thank their old friends. They remembered how once they had all lived and worked together. It hadn't been perfect, and they hadn't always agreed. Animals almost never do. But they had liked it. Their green and pleasant island was in ruins. The barn was broken and the crops were trampled. There was so much to do and they did not know where to start. And then they had an idea. Carefully they collected long pieces of wood and nails and screws. And then slowly, very slowly, they began to build a bridge all the way back to the farm. The end.